the slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness if you Hi, welcome to Dogman TP Hunting, and if you're listening to this, it'll be on the Interdimensional Voyagers podcast. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, right, I've got someone that we had on before previously. This is way back now in the summertime, I believe this was. Um, you'll know him, Joe. Uh, he's a wealth of knowledge, and um, I wanted to get him back on, really, because um, we, we broached on the subject of cryptids before, and I wanted to kind of like pull out a bit more if i possibly could um so uh i'm gonna try and twist his arm and ask him exactly what he knows about werewolves so i'll bring him on right now deep, deep. hey joe hey buddy how are you i'm good i'm good thank you mate yeah not too bad it's good to have long you back on uh, it's been you. a long time though, to so. be here, mate. yeah yeah good yeah yeah uh i like the hair i do like oh. the hair mate that's very very good yeah i like that the, the, yeah, the link suits you it does um, see you. Yeah. The yeah. Sexy, you see. Yeah, my missus keeps saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, uh, whenever I get my hair cut, it's like kind of like a little ball spot just in the middle there. And it's starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, it's like yeah. You wait till you get older. Yeah, you start losing it on top. It comes my dad right, is eighty-seven, and he still has a full head of hair. Damn. That's doing well. There's not a single receding hairline in my family. Well, wow, that's doing no, really that, well. no hair loss, no, like, nothing like that at all. Damn, that's really doing well. Yeah. So, it's just for you, Phil. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, cheers. Thanks ever so much, mate. Yeah, when I end up looking like a monk, you know, I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, right. Um, now, Joe, what, mm -hmm. what I've asked you, we have mentioned this, but what I want, wanted to ask you, really, what I wanted to ask you is, you have, um, and I think you have one of your main chosen subjects, one of the subjects you have a great deal of knowledge on, um, and I understand you can't tell us everything, but I really need to know more about werewolves now i know about dogmen and first of all i need to ask you could you explain the difference between a dogman and a werewolf are people getting yeah, confused very simply um a dogman is a man they creation they spliced they took um so they found frozen direwolves they spliced the dna and they mixed it with human dna they've been doing the government's been doing this for more than 70 years they wanted guard dogs to protect the facilities that's all they are they're not werewolves they're not even close to werewolves if a dog man regardless of how big it was went up against a true werewolf it'd have its ass turned inside out before it knew its own name Blimey. a werewolf is supernatural it has supernatural strength not strong they they regenerate Okay. Dog men. A dog man could be shot in the head and killed. You try and shoot a werewolf in the head, and if you think Silver's going to kill a werewolf, you're having a bubble. Yeah, that I was know, a legend, and that that was created by the werewolves themselves to make humans feel safe. Nothing more. Werewolves okay. are not um, uh, they're not allergic to silver. They're not allergic to wolfsbane. They're not allergic to any of that stuff. Okay, so in your opinion, Joe. Mm -hmm. Uh, dog men are created genetically created yeah they're are genetically they? created in a lab as guard dogs that's right. all they are they're dogs okay right they're created as guard dogs i mean the type three is a hell of a, a hell of a beastie you know um luckily i've only ever seen one at a distance mm. a distance but i've seen the type two the big gorilla type one, and, and a, a type one the big dog with the red eyes but um these who were they guard dogs for the government to protect their facilities to protect their secrets they have a lot of stuff they don't want people knowing about they've got a lot of facilities they don't want people going there if people find the entrance to these facilities and all their all, all their dirty little secrets all their little experiments and everything else going to come out what is the best way to keep people away from an area fill it with dangerous predators yeah 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 
No, I get it. Yeah, I mean, there, there's two ways they're looking at it. They, they, they either fill up the, special it, about a dog man. I'm sorry, and that's going to upset a lot of people out there, and it was all the Dogman fan, fans and stuff like that. Yes, they're big. Yes, they're powerful. Yes, they're ruthless. Yes, there are three different types. But notice how there's three different types of Dogman and one type of werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Um, I know. I, you see, I mean, but, well, I think that... Werewolves are created by the mother. They were yeah, created by sure. Gaia to guard the planet, to protect okay. the planet. Right. Okay. Joe, okay, Joe, Joe, can I ask this then? How come with uh, a type one dog man, which is mm -hmm. a quadrupedal uh, large black dog? First generation. Right, right, okay, okay, okay. How come it's, it's, it's been written about uh in old manuscripts there was that um that episode in the church where birds you know the they've been doing genetic the alterations for thousands of years if you honestly think that we've only been genetically altering things for a hundred years you're it, it's it's stupid to even but think. i was yeah I, I, no, you know I, we, we've yeah. had the technology mm. to genetically enhance or regrow i mean look what we're doing now we're bringing like species that haven't been on the planet for years the tasmanian tiger for example completely wiped out they've now got four of them mm. and all they've done was scrape up some dna from some bones i was a little sidelined did you hear about the docks there's a there's a dog crossed with a fox i didn't think that they could interspecies breed but there's a docks now i read about a dox. Half do a dox. Half dog, half fox. That's genetically yeah, impossible. Well, there you go. But I've, 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 honestly, I read about it, and it wasn't in some kind of, like, you know, rag. It was a... Uh, oh, there was it? Is there a video footage of it? Yes. There is? Video is, footage. is yes, it? there is. Yeah, I mean, you Where? know, uh, how... Well, uh, you know, uh, it's almost like swearing now, but uh, uh, you got your TikTok... Don't everyone have a don't everyone have a go? I know TikTok, but uh you've got your TikTok, but um I think on YouTube as well, you know, um there is a video evidence of this docs, half fox, half dog, uh yeah. hybrid type thing. Yeah. Um i for the life of me I can mention it, but I can't reference it in particular where I read about it. Um I think actually my other half told me about it. She was like, oh, Phil, I've got, George, there's a doctor and a fox being for a ticket. I was like, what? Yeah. And she showed me. I was like, oh, blimey, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. You saying the that about, in you know. control in... of genetic engineering on the planet, and the one that's always been in power with that is a company called Manticore. Can, can you they're say that again? Black, they're blacklist. They don't exist, but they exist. They're okay. the ones that make all the super soldiers. They're the ones that make all the dogmen. They're the ones that make all the genetically enhanced humans and other bits. And what they've okay. done is they couldn't fight the guardians. They, they you know, you, you can't fight a werewolf. I don't care. If, I hear people saying they killed a werewolf. And I'm, I'm sorry, but that is by far the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. That would be like taking a newborn baby, dropping it in front of Mike Tyson and saying, <laughs> yeah. it's hilarious. It's, yeah. it, it's, it's less than that. It's the equivalent of an ant taking on an elephant. Because, you, know, you know, people... They're raw, they're raw alone. If they're close enough, their howl alone isn't loud enough to burst. Mm. So dog soldiers, what is dog soldiers? What, dog just, soldiers, just... Again, again, that's, um, dog soldiers is just a bad rendition of dog men. Okay. Oh, a right. bad rendition of, of werewolves. <laughs> Sorry, not dog men, werewolves. Werewolves okay. are born as they are. They're not created. You can't scratch, get scratched and turn into a werewolf. You can't get bitten and turned into a werewolf. However, the way werewolves are created if a werewolf was to create another werewolf like using a human then it's done this way not this way it's done which way so i say again 
It's not way? sexually. It's okay. Okay. It, okay. All right. It's passed on. Right. Yeah. Through. Yeah. Giving it one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh. It's got nothing to do with the blood. It's got nothing to do with venom in their bite. They don't have venom in their bites. They've got no venom in their bites at all. They bite with over seven thousand pounds of pressure per square inch, but they don't. <laughs> do you know? They don't have venom. They don't have saliva that, like, will like turn you into a werewolf. I, I this stuff that you hear, the stuff that you read, the fables, the legends, it's all made up. Okay. Um, with werewolves, um, if they're top of the tree predators, okay, I'm only, oh, this is what I, what I think is different to the questions I ask. I have to ask these questions because there's going to be people going to be looking at this, watching it and think, God, what she asked that. And so I'm just sort of preempting what I guess they're going to be asking. If they're top of the tree predators, yeah, mm. top, top, top predators. Okay. Um, uh, um, why aren't they? They're here to protect the earth, what? not what? dominate it. Right. Okay. I know exactly so, what you're going to say. Why is there such a powerful predator that's twice as intelligent as a human, five times more advanced physically than anything else on the face of the planet? Why is it not in charge? Because they're not here yeah. to dominate. Yeah. They're not here to hunt down and murder humans. They don't eat babies. They don't eat human hearts. They don't hunt for no reason. They okay. hunt the evil. They keep the balance. They're not evil. They're neutral. They're neither good nor evil. They're pure nature. They're the, profan the profanication of nature, the very essence of nature. Have they always been here then? Yes. They have been the guardians from day one. Are they the preferred guardians? Is there any anything else? There was one they... that was created before, like it, by um, the primordial mother Gaia. Okay, but you don't have to say anything you don't want to. You don't have to say anything you no, don't want to. No, no, that's fine. But he become bloodthirsty. He started killing and hunting for the pleasure of it. He got he um got the taste for human blood and started hunting. So he started killing humans in their millions. Gaia mm -hmm. removed him because of his insatiable hunger. She then took part of him and mixed it with a part of her. She then birthed the werewolves and placed them on the earth. They are the children of Gaia. Like. Okay. Right. It's hard for a lot of people who hear this and be like, yeah, right, okay, okay. But the, the, the fact remains, right? Werewolves do not just hunt and kill people. Okay. Do, where where are we getting it from? Where where are they getting it from that they transform? They can tran There's a transformation within them. You know, uh, they can shape shift to a degree, but what people don't understand is they can't take the perfect guise of a human. They can bring their humans. They can bring their body size down, and they can have a silhouette of a human. But if you actually look at their faces. Their eyes, their mouths, their nose is all bestial. Their ears are slightly pointed. Their eyes are yellow. They have four canines, top and bottom. Okay. Do their eyes glow or are they reflective of light? Do they or glow? They can, see perfect. they can see as clearly in the dark as we can on a crystal clear day. Not to okay. mention that their sense of smell is... 15, 16,000 times greater than any dogs on the planet. So they don't need their eyes. They can just track you down. Hmm. Do they well, only act when it's when they need to. Sorry, Joe. Do, do, they, li do they live in packs? Or are they yeah, so they live in packs. They live in packs. They also have longevity. So they can live up to well over a 1,000 years well over a thousand years and the reason they can do that is because their body is in a constant form of regeneration you can't age a cell, a cell that constantly regenerates this is what gives them longevity it's the same theory behind a vampire the only thing that makes your body age is the oxygen that you breathe 
is oxygen that ages your cells. When a vampire is dead, they stop aging. They stop aging because they're not breathing in oxygen anymore. Vampires yeah. are not immortal. It's funny Take you say that. to everyone out there. Vampires mm. are not immortal. They can be killed like anything else. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right, you covered a lot. And um, they're not. They don't look like bloody Edward Cullen either. Okay. <laughs> Right, and werewolves don't look like Jake. <laughs> um, okay, uh, they don't right. have beautiful shiny skin, they don't have a gentle voice. You know, these things, vampires. If you could take, right. imagine like what we call the crawler or what you yeah. guys call the rake, right? Okay, yeah. take away its eyes, yeah, okay, round its mouth. Give it top and bottom canines and curved talons that look like they belong on something more like an eagle. Right. They're bipedal. They're yes. fast. That you know they feed on blood. But they're not friendly. They're pure beasts. Vampires are not humanoid in any. They they don't look like humans. They don't masquerade as humans. That's just fable to make humans feel more comfortable. Yeah. It's like yeah, holding think... a stake in a heart. You think a stake in a heart is going to kill something that's already dead? It's already dead. What? So you're going to stab it in its unbeating heart? Mm. Use your head. Yeah, that always that always surprised me when I and a werewolf. Because... Mm. Like it's it's you can cut these things like you can't. I'd love to see anyone try, but like try and cut one of these things to pieces. Or you take a direct slash across its throat or something like that, assuming you have a weapon that can even allow you to get that close. Yeah. Okay. It's going to heal as the blade comes across. As it moves across that way, this is already healed. Okay. Their point of regeneration is immediate. Okay. So how is a little bullet going to kill a werewolf? Yeah, a little bullet will absolutely devastate a dog man. You take a 50 caliber black black tip and you put that between the eyes of a dog man, you watched it fall. Mm. You do that to a werewolf, you'll be lucky if he scratches if you scratch his skin. Um the gut did, did in your opinion. Okay, right. In your opinion, do the government know about these? The yes. werewolf? Yes, of course they do. Okay. Now, in that case... Why well, they tried to create their own by a dogman to be able to fight them, but they can't. Ah, right, because I was going to ask, in that case, wouldn't it be a priority for a powerful government? Wouldn't it be a priority for them to nab one? Because you're talking about... They have, they have done. They they do. They, 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 they've they, taken... They, because you, you, understand, you understand what, you know, from the way that it's described... We're talking that if they could um, uh, synthesize the cells, mm -hmm. that means that we could kind of live forever. The I mean, government they, but... experiment on werewolves and everything else. The, they experiment on anything that's moving, including our own humans. Governments have been splicing animal and human DNA for years. They've also been able to. They've also been trying to unlock um, regeneration for humans to give them longevity. So they can live longer. Yeah. Well, the key to that is in werewolf DNA. The thing is, they don't have any technology that can understand the DNA. You can't recreate something supernatural that was birthed by a primordial god. Right. Okay. So, all right, I've got to take that apart a little bit here. I'm sorry, Joe. Right. So you're saying that right, dog man is created, right? So that is yep. basically, um, yeah, uh, dog man. The genetic created. alteration, nothing more. And they right. can be put and, down with a big bullet. Okay. But at the end of the day, dog man is like a, uh, created as a uh, patrolling. Um, it, it's a guard dog. A guard That's dog. It. It's nothing okay. special. Right. It's just a bipedal guard dog. A bipedal I'm sorry, guard I, dog. I know I'm talking down about them, but they really aren't anything special. Okay. Right. Anything that you can kill with a single bullet isn't special. Okay. Uh, no, I get it. Right. Okay. So they're created. 
You can so, suffocate no. them, you can burn them, you can cut them, you can hack them, you can slash them, you can shoot them, you can drown them, you can suffocate them. So you can't do people, any of that to a wolf. So, so, well. why do, so, so, right, so when people witness, like I have myself, uh, and you witness uh, uh, this like kind of um, a dog man shape bipedal with a wolf's head entity let's call it that the thing is right. if you're in its territory I, I i don't understand why it didn't attack yeah but it's kind of it just got it, it emanates this fear you just like kind of i cannot i could not move because it's fear just mm. but it's it like a feeling it. in your stomach where you, like, yeah. like all hope is gone all, all yeah yeah, yeah. You, you build like a tiny little ant in a big but the, yeah, but the but the, the 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 fight or flight, you know, definitely not fight. But the flight, <laughs> you can't even fly. You can't even go no, because it, it almost can't. wants you're you. You're facing down the biggest one of the biggest predators you've ever fought, and your mind, because it's a bipedal wolf, instantly goes, "Oh, werewolf!" Ah! Yeah, it's a horror story. It freezes you in place. Ah, uh, okay. okay. I mean, yeah. the government spread stories about the werewolf to cover up the fact that dogmen were there they covered up the fact that it was their dogmen that were going around killing and murdering children but they blamed it on werewolves to cover their own backs okay where does every the attack where you've does ever this... heard of on humans from a werewolf wasn't mm -hmm. a werewolf unless it was over hunting unless a... see werewolves only hunt those that try to break the balance there is a very fine balance on this planet a very fine balance like knife edge the second you step over that you're gonna get hunted and you're gonna get taken down and the reason for this is that is why they are here they're not here to dominate they're not here to hunt and kill humans they're not here to do any of that other than to protect the balance when people get that into their heads they actually start to understand the premise of a werewolf and the fact that they're not just mindless thugs that they're like two three four times more intelligent than any freaking human on the planet uh, can you, they can speak you explain like, then joe can you explain what their what their rules their governing rules are so if these creatures go out and say that a young male goes out and it sees an opportunity to um uh people have given a human for no reason what it will are be the killed boundaries? by the pack it will be killed by the pack because it's breaking the, the biggest rule. Okay. So the pack will kill it. The pack will, the pack will kill. Yeah. They have one rule. One rule. Keep the balance. You break that rule, you're dead. It doesn't matter whether you're a werewolf, human, cryptid, or otherwise. It does not matter. Werewolves hunt other cryptids. Werewolves hunt anything that will try and mess up the balance there's a reason why these things are 12 feet tall weighing in in excess of two and a half thousand pounds some of them especially some of the alpha males two and a half tons that is yeah. um you don't yeah. can't don't quite grasp the, the the sheer size muscle density and muscle mass i mean one of their hands like the, the muscle in their forearm would probably mm. weigh more than me okay in density and i i'm not a big guy i'm not a huge guy but mm. like the, these creatures they can run at obsessive speeds of well over 100 miles an hour and they hit their target with full veracity okay um can i reel it back a little way um, yeah. uh, with if you don't mind when you were talking about uh their um uh how many are in a pack how many are in a pack you know, how long a piece of string okay right we got that then what, what what is the rules when it comes to um uh mating or uh do, do they mate for the fun of it or do they mate no they, 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 they do mate they do create um but they have to they they're not like us they're not like all the other animals they they can make they can have naturally born werewolves right okay yeah. so 
these guys are generally bigger, stronger, and faster than the created werewolves. So the ones that would have been turned by uh, um, um, the, the ritual, the sex, or uh, okay. other ways. Okay. You're talking about a male. Uh, uh, you're talking about, right, there's two types here. About that. Yeah, so the virus is passed through sexual contact, yes. Okay, right. So they would have to, uh, a female. It has to be a well, It has to be a she wolf mating with a male human, not the other way around. It's the she wolf that carries that gene ability, that gene, that ability to be able to mix their blood with a human to create another werewolf. Okay, and it's that a particular of werewolf, diet. Okay, that particular werewolf that they give birth to, how is that different from a native born werewolf between two werewolves? How is that cub different from the others? It's developed slower. It's not as big, not as strong, not as powerful. Their connection is slightly weaker to the rest of the pack. They're generally the they become the omega of the pack. Okay. Right. They're generally the weakest member of the pack, the ones that are created. Now you get two if you have a female werewolf and it goes to a male human for some reason that mix seems to make very very large very very powerful offspring okay All right um wow yeah uh you've blown my mind really it's, it's just uh it's a lot to take in joe it's a lot to take this in is nothing this is a lot to take in i haven't even opened a book um okay uh let's open a bit a bit more then okay um right why are they uh why why do they seem to be um so in the shadows if they're making a balance why don't they hate us because by god they, we do, they, 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 making... they don't need they're not creatures of hatred no but we're making we, we're ruining the place man there's uh, just down the road they're building on another little Belt of green land, lovely wooded land. They're getting rid of it to build more flats. I mean, why the hell? I mean, I'm angry about it. God, yeah, yeah, no, that's not. I'm not. You, you see, you're looking at balance as land. You look at balance as in killing for fun, destroying not, things for fun. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about killing. I'm not, talk, not talking about killing. What I'm saying is, don't they? Don't we annoy them? Don't 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 they yes, see of course us? We do. As, of course, of course, we're destroying. Yeah we, yeah, we do. But like like I said, every society, every creature, they have rules. They ha they cannot act unless told. Okay, All right. There will be a time where people realise that they've encroached on the wrong territory. Okay. Where they've overhunted too much. And when that happens, the whole world will bleed. Okay. And this is not because of werewolves. This is because well, this is because of the Gaia. Yes. Okay. Right. The primordial mother, the creator of all, including Yahweh. You know, we're going to have to have a chat about that another time, don't you? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I have to... a whole book on that. Yeah, we're gonna have to have a chat about that. Um, I'm gonna the try one and true god to... is not the one true god, he was birthed by Gaia, the first primordial god. Okay. He's just an arrogant child stamping his feet. That's all he is. Okay, I, I much as I want to go into that now, I'm gonna try and stick so we can get uh, uh as much really understanding on werewolves, dogmen as I can in this mm. episode. If that's all right, Joe, yeah, so. No um okay right so with um what what it is is it like um what relationship if a sasquatch came across a werewolf which werewolves and sasquatch be... don't fight sasquatch okay. hunt dogmen not werewolves dogmen okay. and sasquatch aren't even terrestrial they're extraterrestrial they're not from this planet the fact that people can't like the, the easiest way to look at this is every time there's been a Sasquatch um, sighting or anything else, there's a report of a flying saucer not so far away. There's a report of a UFO not so flying, 
of not so far away or there's a report of something else only a few miles away mm. yeah Ooh, that's true. every single every single freaking report every yeah. single one and the yeah. fact that they just appear out of nowhere they can move without making sound they are unlike yeah. anything that's ever existed on the planet that that is true and all they're, they're, well, they're not they're, they're not hostile the creatures they don't um sasquatch will hunt and kill a dog men because they're unnatural they don't yeah. belong it's also why werewolves will hunt dog men because they're not natural they don't belong they're not meant to be okay right um do are are werewolves able to talk or are they able to um communicate yes yes is it is it one of these things where it's telepathy again it's it's well you you would think it's telepathy because it's more like eye contact and you just understand them okay right i i, I don't know a better way to describe it it's like you look at their body language and that body language almost turns if they want you to understand them they will make it so you can one question i've got to ask you because you've said that um because it sounds as if you've got uh first hand knowledge um i'm only going to ask this question and that is have you seen or have you been close to a werewolf that you would call a werewolf yes yes i have okay that's all i wanted to know okay all right then um are you sure this was a werewolf i know it was I spent time with them. Okay, right. Well, okay then. This is how um, I know the fact that they're not mindless killers. It's also how I know the fact that if another werewolf attacks a human, that werewolf is put down. First hand experience. Now, a lot um, of people out there be like, yeah, he's talking shit, he's talking shit. I don't care what you people think. Mm. I know. That's the difference. I know. Okay. You know, so like there are things in this world that people will never understand. They will never believe. They will never allow themselves to even consider a fact. Yeah. And it's yeah. one of those things. Yeah, there's all there's always going to be uh people that you know kind of question i can't wait for the comments there's going to be, pe there's, there's there's going to be people that question there's going to be people that question joe it's going to be you know i mean everyone's going to question because you know unless it slaps it slaps me in the face i don't really believe it but up to a point you remember that picture i sent you yes i do the young male feeding yeah yeah yeah, yeah. have you made sure the picture's unique have you made sure that it isn't untampered do it oh, Check it. yeah it's completely original Mm. take it to a professional and get it checked it is I completely do, uh, undoctored yeah. it is completely professional it is completely and utterly real in every sense of the word i have provided you proof yeah yeah and i provided um, you proof of the pack yeah um yeah it's it's, it's one of those things though that it's joe it's one of those things that are very very difficult because it's um why isn't it that the government um have can they control werewolves no <laughs> no 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 the no government i mean the, military, the, the government military. can't control the government can't control okay they right, control, no. they're gonna create they're not gonna be able to control a supernatural version of that are they when they can't no. create the little puppy dogs they created a Let's face it. Come on, that's hilarious. Yeah, that, okay. they, they, they've now, even got a special case, unit. They've even got a special unit on the foundation called Medusa. They sent thirty of these super soldiers after a pack of werewolves. They faced down one alpha, and not one returned. Not one. Okay, what are the super soldiers? Dogmen, you mean? No, no. The super soldiers are genetically altered humans. So they take they take humans and they splice cryptid DNA and all this other crap into the humans. They grow them in a test tube. 
Right. And then so why, didn't they, why didn't they just send a load of dogmen? You know, the clo- because they get their asses kicked. They tried it. They tried it. Remember, this is. <laughs> you, you, you're not getting it. I am getting it. it, it it's the I'm equivalent. To get it. It's the equivalent. I'm... Like, if you took an alpha dogman, regardless to whatever, right? You take mm. the alpha of that. I guarantee you the Omega in the pack of a werewolves would rip that thing to pieces in less than a second. It would rip it apart and disembowel it in less than a second. And that's the Omega. What do you think an animal three times its size is going to do? It's a scary thought that they're out there then. Not really. They're guardians. They protect us. There's nothing to fear. They're not here to hurt us. They're here to protect the planet. Now, dogmen. I, are something I to still fear. don't get it, though. I don't get it. Why is it that, you know, after all this time, all this time, for for well, God, hundreds of years, they've known about it. Prevailing governments, prevailing society. There's a, been a niche of society that has known about them, and yet they haven't tried. Yes. Have they? Have they had one? Have they taken one? Have they taken it to a laboratory? Is is there a case and scenario that you know about that where they've taken one to a laboratory? I heard of something. I don't know if it's true, but I heard something once about a um, place in Salisbury called Porton Down. They're a biochemical plant. They say they work on fireworks. It's bullshit. They're biochemical warfare. Okay. Okay. Genetic engineering. That's what they do there. Um. (laughs) <laughs> you know if it's just a standard lab there's not just going to be a little building that you go into so basically this building um the way this building looks is a massive car park with a tiny tiny little building dead in the middle yet there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars parked mm. why are they going to hide a lab underground Yeah, if I heard not, someone. If, but they're, I heard... if they're only if they're only working on fireworks, because if there's an explosion, everyone dies. It doesn't yeah. make sense, and anyone with half a brain cell should be able to see that. Mm. Basically, and... the government said it didn't happen to most people. It didn't happen because right. that's that that's how they they're programmed. That's how they're programmed to think. There's very few people out there that can see through the bullshit that are waking up and i said waking up not woke woke people are just waking up mm-hmm. yeah okay okay uh, that. yeah all right now then. these people are generally very very old souls okay the people that you're talking about the people that accept that they that accept their existence or the people that witness them that witnessed and know. The witness and know. Are are they are they in every country? Yes. Predominantly in forests and woods. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 they're, they're everywhere. It doesn't matter whether it's forest. It doesn't matter whether it's desert. It doesn't matter. There's different. They, they will look slightly different because of their environment. They have slightly different colours. Like the ones from the desert, there would be a light sandy colour. They'd look more <laughs> like her. Okay. Light and coloration. Oh, bless her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the ones in the forest are browns and blacks and greys. And then you look at the ones in the mountains, they're all dapple. They're just a spot of loads of different colors to mix in with the background. Okay. It depends on their environment and the, pro- and the, and the, um, and the tribe they're from. They live okay. in tribes. Ah, okay, right. Is there any cross communication with the tribes? Do you know how they cross communicate? Do they cross communicate? Well, we've been interacting with humans for millions, for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. No, 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 no. Cross? Do they communicate with each tribe? Do they communicate? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. How? How? Yeah, they're they not at war. No, 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 no. But how do they communicate? If they, if if something happens to they would one have a tribe, gathering. they would have a gathering. Oh, so the leaders the connect, remember they're all connected to the primordial mother Gaia. They all have a connection. 
so they would you're talking there with mentally connected. all the alphas are connected to each other every okay. alpha of every tribe they're all connected okay do you think that goes the same for uh cryptids it's the only thing they got right it's the only thing they got right. They can hear each other's thoughts. They can hear the alpha can hear all the thoughts of the pack. And they can hear all the thoughts of the other alphas. Okay. Do you think the same, Joe, uh, applies to uh, Sasquatch? Yes. You know, that they can, that they, 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 yeah, need... they are telepathic. They are telepathic. Okay. Right. Um, uh, when they, can I ask you this? When they're in the woods, where do they live? Do they do they do they uh, build um, shacks like the teepees? Do they? Well, what are those teepees? Uh, it, it, it depends. I mean, it, it depends on the tribe's individuality. I mean, the pack that I've interacted with, um, they had that they have like a small village. Okay. It's deep and it's hidden, and like if you were stood fifty feet away from it, you wouldn't see it. You'd walk straight past it. Because of the oh, way you build it. Right. Okay, right. Um, and it's always water, but it's always near a water source, I guess. It's always near water. Okay. Um, but they're not. They don't naturally. I say near water. They're not going to be right next to it. No, yeah, no but near. They're, they're, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, because they're very often, you see, people, witnesses have always seen, uh, find, found that they've had sightings, and it's always tended to be near streams or rivers or things like that, these sightings. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can you explain, uh, is it the werewolves then that people often see, and they, they move so quickly, and they morph out, they kind of morph out, is that them camouflaging? Mm -hmm. How the bloody hell do they do that? Do you know? they just decide I, I i don't know how they do that it's um again they're a supernatural creature they have a lot of abilities that i don't know about it's like werewolves aren't just teeth and claws you know they have different tribes and each tribe has different variations of gifts now i'm not gonna say anything about what they are because and if there is like a pack member that listens to this stuff and they hear me say that sort of thing. All people need to know is they're not vicious, nasty creatures. They're not unintelligent. They're not here to harm or hurt or kill or maim or destroy any form of human. They have never hunted a human for fun, sport or otherwise. Yeah, see, that's interesting. That's what dog men do. Yeah. Why were dog men released? Why didn't they just like, they're keep them in the laboratory? Dogs. They're, they're them. guard dogs. I keep telling you, they're guard dogs. Yeah, I know. But, uh, they have the... trackers and they have um, behavioral like things in the backs of like in their body somewhere. So if they if they go so far, they'd be terminated. If they do something too bad, they're terminated. Okay, right. But see, they you know, were created just... to be able to be killed. They had to be able to control them. The thing is, they lost control over them, and a lot of them escaped. These are the ones that are now in the wild. Now, you've heard about all these facilities that just one minute mm. there's no facility, and the next minute there's a facility that's burning to pieces out of nowhere, or it's been attacked by something, and all of a sudden it's on the news. It's like this facility never existed, but now all of a sudden they want to make it public. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a lot of a lot of cases, isn't there, like that? Yeah, there is. Um, I asked that question because the times that I've seen one particular time when I saw a, a type two dog man, and um, it's not very far away from from where I live. And I know there's, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, there's no military facility immediately. I, 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 I guarantee you, that's a pet. That belongs to the military. Remember, these okay. things, territories, like that, they, they, they can run at 70, 80, 90 miles an hour, a dog man, easy. Okay, they, 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 they do 70 across rough ground. Mm. All right. Yeah. yeah. There's 
even a wolf had a territory of hundreds of miles. What do you think a dog man's going to have with human intelligence? Oh yeah, yeah, that's, for sure. That, that's the terrifying thing about a well, uh, about a dog man. Mm. They have the twisted mind of a human, mixed with the primordial mind of a yeah. dial. You put yeah, those two yeah. things together, you're going to get a monster. Mm. Yeah, no, the, no. The type one was the first generation. The type two was the second generation. The type three was the final generation. Mm. I know the type three are smaller than the type two, but the type two is all about backup power. You know, they're the, the heavy hitters. Yeah. yeah. No, you're completely right. You are completely right. The the type two, the yeah, type the, the three that I've seen. The yeah, the type three. I luckily I've not seen at all up close. I think at a distance I've saw two of them. Uh um, but a type two I've seen very, very close up. And mm. uh, you know, they're like like a gorilla face, really big wide face, mm. a very heavy, very stocky, almost you could imagine it being um uh, a, uh, a Sasquatch, a Bigfoot, a, a, you know, a, a very, very, very broad, um, very stocky, uh, um, huge. It's a big thing. I mean, oh God knows how much it must weigh. It must weigh at least, or oh, I don't know, at least a, a, about, I'd say, a ton at least in weight. At least a um, ton, some of the alphas. So, but some of the type twos are truly massive. Massive. Um, massive, massive, but I tell you but what, there's still, um, there's still nothing compared to a werewolf, and this yeah. is my point. This is what I keep putting across. You can take the biggest type two, the biggest alpha out there, and put it mm. against the omega, the youngest member in a werewolf pack, and that werewolf will rip it apart in less than a second. Less than a second, yeah. See, that's like kind of incredible when you see a type two, it's like, as a big animal, that's incredible. I've never seen what well, I've never seen a, what I would believe would probably be a werewolf like you're talking about. I've not seen one. Well, let me no. put it another way. I come up to about halfway up their pelvis when they stand, and I'm five foot seven, five foot six, and I come up to their pelvis. Right. And that's a young male. That's not the alpha. Okay. The alpha is a lot, lot bigger. The alpha is nearly 12 feet tall. In fact, I think he's bigger than that now. Oh, okay. Right. The alpha that you know about in this tribe. In this Radan. Tribe. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Right. Okay. What's his name? Raban. 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 Okay. Um, and then they... his daughter, Suna. 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 Okay. Okay, right. Um, I right, thank you for sharing that. Um, uh, it's blowing my mind, really. Joe, what do they primarily eat? Are they vegetarian? Are they meat? No, I mean they 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 eat, uh, they're, they're like bears. They're omnivore. They eat berries. They eat meat. They eat fish. Okay, they don't right. hunt humans. So There's no sustenance in poisoned flesh. We okay. taste like shit. We fill our bodies with chemicals. We are oh, yeah. vile. It, it'd be like it, picking up a piece of bacon, right? Mm, yeah. Dipping that in every kind of thing that we consume, like tobacco, alcohol, all those other nasty substances, and all that yeah. shit that we cover our bodies with to wash ourselves with, all seeps into our meat, all seeps into our skin. Yeah. It's going to taste okay. like perfume to them. Yeah. Okay. They have no interest in hunting humans. I know this. I know. Okay. So they they primarily their, their diet would consist of fish. Their diet mm -hmm. would even if they of... hunt a human, they won't kill them. Okay. Fish, they, right. they, they go after deer a lot of the time, or in the new forest, they go after the wild horses. Okay, all right then. All right, okay. So uh, they'll attack a horse. Um, they 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 take down an old dying nag. Yes, okay. they hunt. Right. Um. I've got to ask you this one thing as well, because I know they're supernatural beings, but when they, 
See, one thing that's been asked is of, of let me take it as being a, a Bigfoot, a, a Sasquatch. So mm-hmm. people say, when they die, how come we don't see the bones? How come we don't see the bodies? I, I understand it's different. by the pack. Oh, they, oh, they eat the... I thought that was common knowledge. No. The alpha eats the previous alpha to retain his power, his strength, and his knowledge. As does the rest of the pack. It's how the pack grows and advances. Oh. There's never anything left because they don't leave anything behind. Okay. And then right. what's left is the pelt, and they burn that. Okay, right, and that and that that goes for both species. Yes. Right. Okay. No, I didn't know that was common knowledge. No, I didn't. I haven't haven't seen it. See, that's what I mean, Joe. It's great talking to you because I sort of. <laughs> You learn all that, you know what I mean? It's it's like kind of a, a, a new book you're opening up, and it's like, what the hell? Seriously? Mm. Honestly, I didn't know that. So brilliant. Um, okay. Uh, is there anything that they're afraid of? No. No. I don't care what you say. You're not gonna come up with anything that's scared that scares them. Okay. They're it's... not scared of guns because they can't hurt them. They're not scared of fire because they can regenerate from it almost immediately. They're not scared of other cryptids because they're nothing in comparison to them. They have the blood of a primordial god. I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, I mean, we'll, as I say, we'll go into the guy a bit. We'll go into that on another episode. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll do that on another episode. Yeah, yeah sure. Um. Is there any, because they're a spiritual being, do they have any rituals? Yes, loads. You know of? Mm-hmm. Loads. They mm-hmm. have rituals. They, they have loads of rituals. There's a ritual for when they bring a human into the pack. There's a ritual for when they turn a human into a werewolf. So when a bitch decides to lie with a male, a male human, yeah, yeah. it will be done under ritualistic things. It's not like, oh, let's meet in the forest and well, I'm going to do you, doggy. You know, that's yeah. not how it works. Okay. <laughs> it's very ritualistic. So the female werewolf will bring herself down to a, a, her most human form and they will then mate. Once the male drops seed, um, the ritual, uh, I, I can't, I don't want to go into too much detail because I'd get in trouble. Um, okay. No. Uh, so basically what's, uh, so right, that's so one they ritual. They presided over a ritual and then you have the, um, I suppose you would call the medicine man of the group that precise over the ritual itself that says the incantations, that says all the other bits and does. Um, I'm going into too much detail. On this okay, I right, can ask um, you this: sorry, with yes. the guy, with the guy, with the guy, right, mm-hmm. the lucky, you know, the lucky guy, unlucky guy, wherever where you want to see it. What happens to him afterwards? After he's 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 done his business, he's taken away to a um, cave or a teepee, where he like will the... be where he will be placed, and he will be watched over by the elders of the pack, who will then guide him through the change. Because without the guidance guidance through the change, most humans just die. right okay so the guy you can imagine every one of your bones breaking simultaneously growing reforming breaking down growing reforming your skin splitting breaking exploding and then regenerating over and over and over again until your your body accepts the dna so the werewolf dna breaks down the human's um, biology and then rebuilds the DNA. So, what do you say about these movies where you see uh, when, Push when it. people are werewolves Push it. and then next Push minute, it. boom, they change into a human? Bullshit, Push it. yeah. Push okay. it. Okay. Absolute horseshit. Sorry, <laughs> but it's, it's yeah. absolute horseshit. It's okay. like every vampire werewolf movie out there is just bollocks. What is the most, what's the most accurate? 
uh, werewolf that you've seen on TV or in a book, or what, what does it look like to you? What, what do they? What, what's the most accurate one? Like a lot of people say, American werewolf in London, that looks just like what I saw. Our um, dog soldiers, that's just like what I saw. Um, do you see what I'm getting at? Do you have yeah. anything to equate it to? There's, um, how do you put There's so many different variations. Like, everything's different. Everyone looks different. Okay. Like, there's no, they're not twins. Each individual is different. Each individual has slightly different features. Okay. No different to a human. Okay. Um, I get it. It makes sense. It makes sense. Perfect sense. Because why would they? They wouldn't all be the same. It'd be ridiculous. Stupid. Um, it would. Yeah. Uh, their teeth is uh, canine teeth. Uh yeah, they have canines top and bottom. Okay, and their legs. Um, are oh, they? Man. See again, this is a really easy way to tell the difference between a dog man and a werewolf. Right. A dog man has human legs, forward folding knees. A dog man has double knee. A werewolf has double knees folding backwards, like a dog. Right. Yeah, yeah, has yeah. Two knees, not one. Mm. It's also why they're taller, faster, stronger, and more well, more than them, <laughs> more than the dog man. Okay, right, all right. Uh, if a dog man wanted a uh, flight instead of fight, could it outrun a dog man? No. Uh, could it outrun a werewolf? No. Not a chance. Even though the werewolf is no, like, because hmm. by the time the dog man has been spotted by a werewolf, it's got an entire pack around it. It's as good as dead. Okay, right. Um if a werewolf spots a dog man, if a werewolf spots a skinwalker, spots a wendigo, it will outright attack and kill it because they're not natural. They're not of this earth, they're not meant to be here. They're fucking up the balance. Okay. Is there, I know, look, this is getting up to an hour now, but Joe, it's, it's like a little, little carry out, really. Um, is there any relationship? We know that, we know you've said, and I, I do, I honestly do have a lot of faith in what you say when you say also that uh, uh, Sasquatch is a, uh, uh, from outer space, if you like, an alien, you know, dropped. They're, um, they're not terrestrial. They're, they're, they're not. They're just not. Okay. So... <laughs> they're not. I'll argue until, I'll argue with anyone until I... They're so not Sas terrestrial. Right, they're not terrestrial. Uh, but yeah, so Sasquatch is not terrestrial. We've got no. that. So... But they will work in cohesion with werewolves. Okay, right. Joe? I'm going to get you on again. It's 59, 59, getting up to an hour. I'm going to kill it there. Listen, thank you very much for coming on, Guy. I appreciate no it. No problem, buddy. Okay, it was any a links, I'll put, you, I'll put your links on the bottom. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, take care, Joe. See you again soon. See you soon, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.